Hey, welcome back once again, all you CISSP soon to bees. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. I'm Colin Weaver, and every single day I come at you with two questions to help you study, ponder, contemplate, hopefully get better prepared for the exam. Let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, back in 2001, NIST selected a replacement for DES, the data encryption standard. This new family of algorithms um, operates on 128-bit blocks of data and supports key lengths of 128, 192, and 256 bits. What is the name, pick from that list right there, what is the name of the family of algorithms that were selected to replace DES? Click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play and we'll talk them through. All right, first batter on the list is Two Fish. Two Fish was an AES finalist, but it was not selected. Um, it was developed uh, by several people, one of whom was uh, including a guy named Bruce Schneier, whose name will show up again here shortly. But uh, Two Fish operates, it's a symmetric algorithm, it operates on 128 bit blocks of data, and it supports a variable key size, which are also in 128, 192, and 256 bit lengths. Um, it's, it's unlicensed, it's uh, uh, patent free, it's royalty free, so anybody can use it. Uh, it was written and designed to be able to be implemented in a variety of ways in order to go in and optimize the, the speed or memory usage, uh, the number of rounds of encryption, et cetera, that the, that the developer or the person who's implementing the algorithm wants to go and make use of. But it is not the answer that we're looking for here because it was not selected despite being one of the five finalists for AES. Next algorithm on our list is Blowfish. Uh, Blowfish is a symmetric algorithm that operates on 64-bit blocks of data. Um, Blowfish was not one of the AES finalists. However, Blowfish is wildly popular. It is used in a whole bunch of different products that are out there. And it, just like Two Fish, is patent and royalty free and available for anybody to use in their products. The next kid on our list is Serpent. Serpent was an AES finalist. He actually came in second place, so he's not our right answer here. But Serpent, like a lot of the other algorithms that were contenders for AES, um, does operate on 128, 192, or 256-bit keys. It's your choice. And uh, Serpent is considered, uh, according to all the research that I've done, to be more secure than the actual selected algorithm, which is Rindale, or Rindale uh, which is the right answer that we're getting to. Uh, it just was slower than, than the Rindale algorithm that was selected. So it was, it was more secure, but slower. So they opted for uh, good security, yet uh, something that was a little bit faster. Next contender on the list is Whirlpool. Whirlpool is actually a hashing algorithm that outputs 512-bit hashes. Um, and there's three different versions of Whirlpool that are out there. Uh, most people who are making use of Whirlpool today are using the newest version, but none of the three versions in my reading has any particular vulnerability, but people just typically use the, the most current version that's out there. But all of them are 512 bits in terms of their output. Not the right answer here. And the next guy on the list is our correct answer for this question, which is Rindahl or Rindale, however you want to pronounce that. I'm sure there's an even better pronunciation that some of you can school me on. Uh, Rindale does operate on 128-bit blocks of data and supports key sizes that are 128, 192, and 256 bits. And Rindale was the algorithm that was selected to become the new advanced encryption standard, and it's the one that we've been using ever since. And it's omnipresent around us all the time in our day-to-day -day lives. That phone that you're probably watching me on or that computer that you're watching me on is right now using a is to in some way shape or form to secure some of the data that you're sending back and forth. The next guy on the list is RC6. RC6 was also an AES finalist but it was not selected. Um, it supports 128, 192, and 256 bit keys as well just like a, uh, the Rindale algorithm does. Um, the one little caveat to note about RC6 is that had RC6 been selected as the actual winner for the AES contest, it would have been licensed and royalty free. Um, however, it's kind of in, a, in sort of a weird place because it wasn't selected, it, it may not be royalty free. And since there's a lot of other royalty free and license free choices that are out there that don't carry patents on them, uh, I don't know how prevalent you're gonna be able to expect RC6 to be. Um, I personally have not seen it a lot. The next to last guy on the list is IDEA, the International Data Encryption Algorithm. Um, IDEA operates on 64-bit blocks of data using 128-bit key. It was originally positioned to be a replacement for DES. Um, IDEA shows up here and there, but is not terribly prominent, uh, particularly considering the fact that AES is around now and we have Rindale to go in and uh, make us happy in most circumstances. And so you see a whole lot of Rindale. I don't see IDEA very often. 
And then the very last guy on the list was also an AES contender. His name is Mars. Um, if Mars stands for anything, I don't know what it stands for. I've never seen what that particular acronym means, or even if it is an acronym. But he operates on uh, variable key sizes, like a lot of the other algorithms do, and he, he works on 128-bit chunks of data. But he's another guy who was an also ran in the grand scheme of things as it relates to algorithms. No disrespect to Mars, he just isn't one that we see a lot um, ever since he was not selected as uh, one of the, or the winner for the um, AES competition. Okay, here comes question number two. We're sticking in the world of encryption today. Uh, which of the following are valid implementations of triple DES or 3DES, however you want to say that? Go ahead and pick two for me. There they are. Click pause, give it a read. When you think you got it, click play again and we'll sort it all out. All right, the first choice that you have there is one of your correct choices. DES EEE, -E -E, which means encryption, 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 and all of the keys are unique, which means you have three separate keys. Key number one is used for the first round, key number two is used for the second round, and key number three is used for the third round. And when you encrypt data and then encrypt it again with another key and encrypt it again with another key, you effectively get the individual key lengths, which are effectively 56 bits, times three, since you're doing it three times, so you get 168-bit encryption. All right, and the second right answer on this is DES E D E, encrypt, decrypt, encrypt, where key one is the same as key three, key two is unique. So you actually have two unique keys, and the first key, key one, is used in the key one and key three portions of the encryption. Because you have two separate keys, your effective encryption is 56 bits per key, uh, two different keys for doing it, so you have a total of 112 bits of encryption to go in and do that. Those are the two right answers that you're looking for here. All right, I got all kinds of cool supporting links down below to go in and give you more information on all these different algorithms uh, in terms of the implementation of triple DES. And then back to our first question on the different contenders that were out there for AES as well as for IDEA and Whirlpool if you want to know more about them. And I recommend you do from an exam perspective and just from a general life perspective because encryption is awesome. So, um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you dug these questions. If you did, please remember to click on like. If you want to get these every single day, please click on subscribe. And that's it. I'll be back tomorrow.